it's been a while oh my god should i move this forward i have not done a mukbang in such a long time like a proper one you saw you might have seen um the car one that i did with my brother but that was kind of a fail because he was like i want to be on camera we're going to be tucking into some kfc by ourselves because that's proven to be the best way that i mukbang i didn't get that much and it's all cold which is awesome i just got a burger popcorn chicken and some chips oh and some aioli dip so should i leave that there anyway i have some water here and a pepsi and we are just going to chit chat okay so how's everyone doing if you're not in victoria you are so lucky <laughs> i'm trying like to make sure that you can kind of like see everything but as we know i'm not really good at that i'm just gonna open my sauce so i got the original burger i forget what it's called i think it's just called the original fillet burger or something regular chips popcorn chicken pepsi because i got this in a meal just living my life so i have been an anxious mess which I feel like I've been mentioning in a lot of my videos, but in a time like this, I feel like it's quite important. As I've probably said like a million times anyway. I'm stressing because I've got a sore throat. So I went and got tested for Corona again. Or for the virus again. So I'm awaiting those results. Hopefully... It is negative, but you never know these days. So I hope that, you know, everything's fine. In my head, it's just like hard to convince yourself. But anyway, that's not what the focus of this video is going to be about because I'm sure everyone's sick to death of hearing about that. What I did want to talk about was life. <laughs> I didn't really plan this out properly. <laughs> I don't really know what to talk about. I kind of just wanted to like sit here and eat. I didn't really have like a big plan. But. I feel like I haven't done one of these videos in ages. And. I want to say hi. Just wanted to provide some entertainment. But now that I think about it, it's quite boring because I used to be able to talk a lot about nothing, but now I feel like I have nothing to talk about because nothing's happening. Oh. <laughs> I love how half the lettuce is always not in the bun. So basically, I've been thinking about what I want to do with my life, which is always a scary path to go down when you're an overthinker like me um but i feel like i don't really think about it just because i don't like that i don't know and that i haven't really had a set path for any period of my life which to some might seem fine and to like most people probably is fine but i like to know where i'm going with things and yeah i just really like things to be set in place and recently I've been feeling a bit lost about that. So like especially in terms of a long term career. I just am not sure. And I would love to work for myself. But I don't have anything that I'm really good at. Sorry I know you can't really see like everything that I'm eating. But they're literally all in like boxes. I'm really finished like my burger. And I feel mad about it because i haven't spoken about like anything but i don't know if people like to see things when i'm speaking or not forget like what people talk about in here i don't want to be depressing because i'm eating food and um, this is like my cheat day i haven't been eating too well these past like few days i guess even like i had even said like a week because i was on my lady time <clears throat> and so i was just kind of eating what i felt like I'm still trying to be quite conscious of what I was eating, but not really being too strict. I haven't been exercising too great in the last couple of days because 
I had a sore throat. I've been feeling run down and I just didn't want to like overwork myself. I'm quite fragile in the sense that I can burn out really easily, which is weird because I've probably been the healthiest and like the fittest that I've ever been. So I'm not too sure why that has happened. Maybe because I've been so consistent and then I kind of stopped being really consistent when I got my lady time and I might have just kind of fallen a bit. I'm not too sure. I I don't know. Oh my god. What the heck? It's like five chips in one. I miss doing these videos. Mm. Also, thank you guys so much for your love on my recent video. It actually meant so much to me. I was quite scared about like putting that up and talking about things, which I did like a couple years ago. But things for me are quite different now. So my mindset, like I was really open back then and like really good with posting videos. So it felt quite normal just opening up to you guys. But for me to say all that stuff now in this stage of my life was a big thing for me. Because I didn't want to really want to admit that I was going through something again. And it wasn't as intense as I did go through it back then. But I hate it when it comes back up and kind of like sneaks up on me. And I don't really know how, like, I don't know. It's hard. I just wanted to say thank you so much for everything that people have said that they're still watching. And they still look forward to things that I upload, which is so nice. And I'm so sorry that I'm not consistent. Even to film this video today, I was literally like, do I even film it? Like, I don't know. I was just doubting myself again. Which is not what I used to do with videos. Because I used to post like all the time. And I'd enjoy the videos I was filming. People said that they'd like to see a Q&A mukbang from me. I don't really know what questions to answer because no one really leaves me that many questions. Um, but yeah, people were saying like, still here, we love your content, I love your vlogs and hauls. Someone linked a dating website, <laughs> thanks for that. Um, yeah, someone said, I always enjoy watching your videos, they are so entertaining and fun. I'll continue to watch, which was really nice, really lifted my spirits. People wanted to see mukbangs and stuff, which I used to do quite often. I just didn't know what to talk about. If I'm honest, it's really hard to um, think of stuff to talk about in these things because some people are like, oh my god, stop talking, just eat the food. And I'm like, I feel quite awkward just sitting here and eating food, but half the stuff that I um, film anyway gets cut out. On other news, I really want a dog. <laughs> I'm never going to get one while I'm living at home. It's really sad. Oh, crap. I feel like even though this sounds like so silly, this lettuce is literally falling everywhere. Um, I feel like I'd be so much happier with a dog. Like I know you shouldn't really like count on things to make you happy, but come on. People with dogs seem to be really happy. I literally just sit on TikTok and my whole feed is dogs. Have you guys tried, I know I'm doing a KFC mukbang, but it's not like they're sponsoring it. <laughs> um, but have you guys tried the new like mozzarella patties from McDonald's? So they were advertising. Oh my god. It was actually amazing. And they put in like um little a little bit of like tomato relish or something in the bun, like with like the sauces. I got the chicken burger one. It was freaking amazing. Also, been watching How to Get Away with Murder. We're up to season four. Just the start of season four. Oh my god, it is a whirlwind of emotions. Such a good show so far. I'm really intrigued to see what they do for another like two seasons. I think it's up to season six. On Netflix it's only up to season four though. But my brother told me to stream the rest. Which is what I'll do. If anyone else has some recommendations on what to watch, leave them below. Because I'm literally just re-watching Veronica Mars. Which I love. But that's what I'm doing. I'm literally re-watching a show. I do it all the time. I've been meaning to re-watch One Tree Hill for ages and like the OC. But I feel like I've watched them so many times that I need to give other things a go before I go to that. It's probably like my last resort. 
Also, if you can see from there, my disgusting nails. I'm very sorry. They've all been falling off. Like I got them done when we like kind of first got out of lockdown and they started opening again. Probably got them like two weeks into that. I've probably had them on for like five weeks now and all of them are like literally coming off. Which is fine. I want them to come off. Last lockdown, I stupidly like chopped them off and then tried to file them down and everything like tried to file the SNS off my nail because I didn't have any acetone. Stupid mistake. Um, but I'm just waiting for them kind of to fall off. If they're like broken a bit, I'll try to like <clears throat> take them off myself, but I'm not doing what I did before again. I've learned my lesson. I also heard that American KFC is not like this. Is that true? Like apparently it's actually bad. Like someone commented on one of my other videos saying that American KFC sucks and it's too crunchy. That's actually awful to hear because KFC here is really good, but it makes you feel like crap after. Like I know most fast food places end up doing that, but KFC is a whole nother level. Who did it? Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Comment down below. Other things you want to see me do, um, give me some questions if you guys want me to do like a Q&A mukbang, which I'd be more than happy to do. Oh my god, there's a hair in my mouth. I hope this brought some light to your life and just saw me eat my whole daily calorie intake in one sitting. And I hope you guys are keeping safe and healthy. Have a lovely day or night whenever you're watching this and I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye!